What is up guys, John the Retro Bro back again with a new how-to video. This time I'm showing you how to play N64 on your Nvidia Shield. You guys know I love the Pi, but the Pi does not play N64 quite like I like it to. And I really enjoy N64. Say what you will, it's got a lot of great classics that, so that are sometimes just fun to go back to. So the first thing we want to do guys is, uh, I'm using an external hard drive for this video. The first thing we're going to want to do is find our external hard drive on our laptop once that's plugged in or computer whichever you're using and then mine for is going to be called my passport f pull that up here and you want to create an n64 folder so go ahead and create that n64 folder this is where we're going to dump our roms all right so as you can see my folder here is empty so we need to get, get some games in there so find your games on your laptop of the games you want. So as you can see here, mine is in a folder I have of all the N64 games. So when I just go ahead and copy these, I'll control C and then I'll go back to my ROMs folder for my N64 in my external hard drive and control V to paste these games. So depending on how many games you have, it's going to take a few minutes. Um, so we'll go ahead and speed this up and once this is done, we're going to eject our external hard drive and plug it into our NVIDIA Shield and get uh, the N64 emulator we need. Alright guys, so once your games are done transferring to the external hard drive, all you got to do now is back out and just verify that they're in the right folder. And then... get that thing ready for your Nvidia Shield. So we're gonna eject our external hard drive here and plug it into the Nvidia Shield, download the proper emulator and start playing some games. So we'll move over to the Nvidia Shield now. All right guys, so once we're on our shield, we're gonna go ahead and go into apps here. We need to download Moopin N64. So go up to get more apps. We wanna search. And we're going to search for Moopin64. So M U P should be one of the first ones that come up. We'll go ahead and install. So, as you can see, guys, not a huge emulator, should be pretty quick. Only 10 megabytes. And then once this is installed, this will be placed directly in your apps folder. That's the nice thing about the NVIDIA Shield is because it does use the Android Play Store, a lot of these emulators, with the exception of a few, will be on your Google Play Store. So we'll go ahead and open Moopin64, and we wanna allow it to look for our files here. So as you can see, we're greeted with a blank screen. Go to Refresh ROMs, actually, up here, top right corner, I do apologize for that. So we wanna find our external hard drive here. So go ahead and hit back a few times. It won't be back there, so just hit that parent folder once or twice. And uh, my external hard drive is this A4DCBC84. It's gonna look something like that. So we're gonna go ahead and search zip files, download cover art, clear gallery before adding, and scan subdirectory. So you don't have to touch anything on the bottom left, just go ahead and hit your drive. Now we're gonna look for that N64 folder we just made. So boom, we're gonna go ahead now we're going to jump over here once we see that and we're going to hit OK. And this is going to go ahead and populate your entire library of games. It's going to give you box art. Um, it's going to give you pretty much everything. It's going to be a nice little display here. So we'll give this a few seconds. All right, guys. So once that's done, you'll see pretty much your entire library here and you'll be ready to play some games. Now I'm using an Xbox 360 wired controller. So generally these are gonna be pre-configured for you. Now we don't wanna, we don't wanna exit out. So boom, start new game. Everything's pretty much configured. That's a nice thing guys. If you use the Xbox 360 controller, you don't even need to configure a controller here. So guys, like I was saying, N64 is super simple to set up. Choose your car. So I believe 
believe it is set. You can crank up the resolution on here as well. Which is nice, so you can see here. It's got that uh, upgraded resolution. So when you play N64 games on here, you're pretty much playing remastered N64 games. And with the exception of a couple games, pretty much everything is going to output with the enhanced resolution of 720 without any frame rate drops. So as you can see guys, this is running super smooth, super tight. And it doesn't get much better than this. So yeah, I mean, who needs an N64 Classic? <laughs> You've got the NVIDIA Shield guys. Let's be real, let's be honest with ourselves here. So simple to exit a game. Hit select and hit exit and hit OK. And the nice thing is recently played, it'll put it up here in this nice little folder for you. So guys, let's check out another one. Let's check out some GoldenEye. I mean, I know GoldenEye is a game that is not going to play ever on a uh, Raspberry Pi. Even if you go ahead and overclock your Pi, unfortunately it's just not going to play. So that's what I'm talking about here. You can go to settings, your zoom, you've got cheats, you can enable those. You can configure an N64 controller if you have one. And even if you go back of a little bit further, you can go to your display settings. As you can see right now, guys, see where we're at here. So right now our rendered resolution is 640 by 480. I like to pump that up and then go back down. This one plays okay at 720. I would recommend GoldenEye if you're gonna play it. Don't go higher than 480. I mean, it you'll drop a couple frames here and there, but you know it's nothing. It's nothing drastic. As you guys can see here, running super smooth. I'm just not very smooth. I mean, we can all be honest with ourselves when we say this game simply just has not aged well. So boom, again, just exit out. Do you want to exit? Okay. Another favorite of mine, Conquerors will play on here. Um, however, I'm not going to play it because there's like a 40-minute intro that we can't bypass, unfortunately. So, but it does play pretty nice. A good favorite of mine is, let's see if I can find it on here, is Rush 2049. which I believe is on here. Is it San Francisco Rush? Now nah, here we go. Rush 2049, guys. This game is amazing. Again, still outputting at 720p, guys. I mean, look how clean this looks. A hundred percent compatibility. He said everything plays great.
Yeah, guys. Exit out of this one. Favorite of mine, of course, you got to have it on here, is Killer Instinct. So let's find that. I just passed it here. Here we go. Killer Instinct Gold. Another one that just will not play on the pie. That finger my controller here. Now the one thing I will say is your default configuration for these controllers is going to be your C buttons on your on your 360 controller is going to be your right thumbstick. So the fighting games can get a little strange. Uh, that's why I would recommend if you have a uh, USB N64 controller, I would definitely recommend it. You can just go into your settings and configure it into your controllers options. But um, it's definitely worth having. As I say that, I should set mine up. But yeah, guys, pretty much there it is. I can do a separate video if you guys would like to comment below. I could test more games. I mean, as you can see, the entire library is on here. So I could always go through and test more games. They're all going to play, you know, 100%. And, you know, like I said, as far as N64 emulation goes, this is one that if you're looking for an N64, like a plug and play device, if you don't have a, a high end, you don't even really need a high end laptop, but if you don't have a computer, um, you'll get some to play on the Pi, but the Nvidia Shield right now is definitely the way to go. I'll leave actually a link to the Nvidia Shield. I know right now they're doing a Cyber Monday sale. So I think it's gonna be 140 for the gaming bundle, which is nice because you'll get their controller you'll get the 16 gigabyte memory, which will be enough if you just want to do N64. But like I said, I would recommend getting a one terabyte hard drive. So I'll leave a Amazon link to the Nvidia Shield below so you guys can catch that sale. And um, yeah, I hope this how-to video helped. Again, guys, really definitely one of the easier ones to set up and plays N64. Like I said, unless you're using a high-end PC, this is definitely the best way to emulate your N64 game. So on that note goes on that note, guys, I'll see you on the next video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and comment below. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks.